I want to start this video by saying thank you for you guys considering me for an Onyx off-road challenge wild card. We didn't win the wild card, but I want to congratulate Kevin from Chasing 518. I've been watching some of his videos. He's making a killer Bronco with that 7.3 in it. So I'm excited to see that on the build challenge videos. And I wish him the best luck to get that done before the challenge in Tucson. In the second part of this video, we're gonna show you how we use Onyx Off-Road out in the trails. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Yep, that's right. We're out in the woods in our Jeep. And this video is going to be about how we use Onyx Off-Road out here in the trails. We usually are on private land because we live in southern Minnesota. And there's not too many state trails or national trails. We kind of just have to defend for ourselves. Yeah. No people with some off-road parks or go to events that are designated for an off-road wheel and weekend. Look at that, see? Farmland, yeah. Most of, most of our trails that we ride on are private. A lot of farmers own a lot of the land down here. we have our own trails mapped out we can uh, navigate through the trails much easier using the Onyx app. So the way we use Onyx, we use the go and track selection on the app. So we'll, uh, we'll go and track our trail. This one here is new, so we're going to map this trail out. And we're going to map this trail out. This is the one that goes down into the woods from our camping location. So we'll just continue down this road. We'll keep going down this road. And then now we can call this one. So this trail here, we call Field Drive Road. So we'll label it and we'll mark it down and we'll save it to our location on the farm. Another advantage to the Onyx Off-Road, there is also a hunting app. It's called Onyx Hunt. So therefore, where we go wheeling here is a lot of deer trails and primarily made for deer hunting. So I can share the trails on the app to the hunters and also, of course, to the guys that off-road and go wheeling out here. Here's one of my favorite trails 
we cut that one last year and we call that one deer rut because there's a deer stand there and it's actually a deer trail you can kind of see it in there where they where the deer go up through the woods there Another reason we like Onyx is because we can label the trails on our app. We do have some trail signs, but as you can see, a bunch of those signs are pretty beat up and you can't even read them anymore. So another advantage to the Onyx Off-Road and having that app is because we can label the trails and uh, when those signs wear out, we still know where we're at out in these woods. And yes, we're making new signs because we like our signs and the trails as well. Here's one of the signs. And by the way, the trail we just hit now is new. It wasn't here last time. So the trail owner cut a new trail from Rocky Road here to the other side of Rocky Road. So we got another trail to label. Now we made it out of the trails again and I have no clue where I'm at because as you can see the corn is about 10 feet high so it's nice to have these trails marked on the app. Well, that's a wrap on this video. Hope that helps you guys navigate through the Onyx off-road a little bit and how we use it out here on the private trails. Because in Southern Minnesota, we don't have a whole lot of uh, state trails, national trails. So we're kind of just stuck with people we know and different events that are going on around here in the Southeast Minnesota area which is okay. But a lot of times we'll have to map out our own trails to navigate through the woods. As always, thanks for watching and until next time.